really fall for was how genuine she is around just like friends family she's in the she's in the madness man she wants to be a part of it she wants to support me and do things like that she got buku points for that i was like damn she's just i was like man she uh she really won me over with that one she started laughing she was like would you would you seriously be up she she found the perfect perfect part of the show for me to come in i've seen the show enough might as well put me to work here in the whirlwind world of taylor swift and travis kelsey love's not always a smooth ride Kelsey recently spilled the beans on the challenges of dating a megastar like Swift, hinting that fame has its downsides. Meanwhile, Swift's ready to shout their relationship from the rooftops, but Kelsey's apparently not on the same page, sparking some raised eyebrows and a few question marks in Taylor's direction about his seriousness to truly commit to Taylor with a ring. Things got even more complicated when Swift and Kelsey cozied up with Prince William and his kids at a concert, a move that didn't sit well with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The royal couple sees it as a bit of a shade, especially since they've tried really hard but, alas, failed to connect with Taylor in the past. On a brighter note, Taylor and Travis didn't hold back on the PDA in Amsterdam after Kelsey surprised her at a concert, proving that love still conquers all, at least for now. Meanwhile, Patrick Mahomes and his wife are making waves of their own across Europe, adding an extra twist to Taylor and Travis's star-studded saga. So, let's jump right in. Travis Kelsey's Hard Confession Travis and Taylor are almost hitting their one-year mark together. It might seem like a dream dating one of the biggest pop stars, but it's not all touchdowns and glitter for Kelsey. Apparently, there's a downside to being Mr. Swift, dealing with the paparazzi and overzealous fans who show up at his doorstep hoping for a peek at the couple. Talk about invading personal space. This high-profile romance has been the talk of the town across the U.S., merging sports and music fans into one big gossip fest. Kelsey spilled the beans on the Bussin' with the Boys podcast, admitting that the constant attention can make him feel uneasy. Pulling up to the house has been the craziest part, Kelsey shared. According to sources spilling the tea, he's been freaked out by fans disregarding boundaries and leaving stuff at his door. Despite the challenges, their love story kicked off last summer when Kelsey publicly gushed about Swift on his podcast. Fast forward to September 2023, and they made it official at a Chiefs game. Now, insiders say they're happier than ever, proving that love truly can conquer all, even unwanted doorstep gifts. It was like something about me and Taylor. It's like, hey, what the? You guys okay? You guys all right out there? Get the off Facebook, Dad. That's my girl. That's your girl. You know what I mean? That's that's my lady. So it's it's like I'm proud of that. Really fall for was how genuine she is around, just like friends family she's in the she's in the madness man she wants to be a part of it she wants to support me and do things like that she got buku points for that i was like damn she's just i was like man she uh she really won me over with that one taylor unsure about kelsey romance when one imagines taylor swift and travis kelsey's romance we think star-studded dates glamorous getaways and all that jazz but behind the glitz there seems to be a little twist in the plot according to an insider taylor might be gearing up for the next big step marriage Yep, she's reportedly eyeing that white dress and bouquet already. The source spilled, Taylor is head over heels for Travis. She's not looking to waste any more time, so she's putting it out there. She wants to know if he's down for tying the knot. Apparently, Swift, who's 34, has had her share of waiting games in the love department. Back when she was with actor Joe Alwyn for six years, she was all in for a proposal, rearranging her life and even toning down her outgoing side. But alas, Joe took his sweet time, and she eventually had to call it quits. Now with Travis, it's a different vibe. He's not shy about shouting their love from the rooftops, as he proved on the Bussin' with the Boys podcast. I mean, why keep it hush-hush when you're proud of your lady, he hinted. But here's the kicker. There's been no ring yet. Critics are side-eyeing that part, but hey, they've been together less than a year. Let's not rush the poor guy, right? Plus, both Travis and Taylor are apparently feeling the heat from all the marriage talk. So will Travis pop the question? Stay tuned, folks. This love story might just have a sequel sooner than you think. Amsterdam. Welcome by the Eras Tour! Okay, that was really cool. I'm not going to lie to you, that just went immediately into my head. Really powerful. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Tavis begin royal family feud. Taylor Swift is living the celeb life to the fullest these days, from dating Travis Kelsey to hanging with Hollywood's elite like Blake Lively, Ed Sheeran, and even rubbing shoulders with royalty. Yep, you heard that right. The pop queen recently clicked with Prince William himself, bonding over her heiress tour when he brought Prince George and Princess Charlotte backstage in London. They even busted moves together to shake it off, which sounds like a royal dance-off I'd pay to see. But here's where it gets spicy. Turns out this newfound friendship might have stirred the royal pot, especially with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Apparently, Harry and Meghan weren't exactly thrilled about William cozying up to Taylor. They see it as a bit of royal shade, considering they've tried to connect with Taylor before and hit a dead end. Now, every move Harry and Meghan make is under the microscope, labeled as trying to copy the cool kids. Looks like Taylor's friendship choices might have set the stage for a royal rumble, but hey, who doesn't love a bit of drama in the palace? We met royalty, guys. That's right. That's right. There was royalty at the show. I didn't, I didn't realize this because obviously we we're backstage meeting him because uh, he was there with uh, little George and yep. Charlotte. Last Your episode, Royal Highness. Last episode, I think Prince I was William. quoted as saying F royalty. Got there early and um, and got to meet Prince William. Too. How about that? Dude, he was the coolest mother. He was awesome. He was so cool. He's a good dude. I wasn't sure um, if I was supposed to like bow to them, curtsy, um, just be an American idiot. But they said that um, because we weren't at like an official royal event, we didn't need to bow or curtsy. Yeah. We, like, we uh, did get warning because honestly, we don't know the actual. Yeah, we wanted to be polite, especially on this side of the yeah. If we would have been like an official meeting of royalty event, then it would have been that. Packing on PDA. Travis isn't just chilling in the shadows at Taylor's latest Eras Tour gig in Amsterdam on July 5th. After the show wrapped, this Kansas City Chiefs star popped up backstage with his gal Taylor and boy did he amp up the crowd. You could see him pumping his fists, urging everyone to scream louder for his lady love. Classic Travis move, right? Before they disappeared from view, he even threw his arm around Taylor, planting a sweet kiss on her head. This ain't his first rodeo. Travis has been showing Swifty some serious love all tour long. From Dublin to London, he's been popping up at her shows like a surprise guest star. Remember when he rocked the stage with her during I Can Do It With A Broken Heart? Dude was in a suit and top hat, carrying Taylor around like she's the queen of everything. Which, let's face it, she kinda is. Turns out it was all planned to mark a milestone in their relationship. Travis spilled the beans on his podcast New Heights saying it started as a joke but turned into a magical moment. The best part? Travis might just pull another stunt like this. Who knows, maybe we'll see him rocking the stage with Tay again soon. Taylor exposes Travis with karma. On the 4th of July, Patrick Mahomes, the Kansas City Chiefs football whiz, decided to take a break from touchdowns and tosses and hit the greens instead. He grabbed his teammate Travis and headed out for a round of golf in England. But it's not all fairways and putts for Mahomes and his crew. They kicked off their European adventure in Portugal, then swung through Spain, and now they're hiking up a storm in Switzerland. Mahomes even strapped his kiddos, Sterling and Bronze, into a backpack for a family trek. Talk about multitasking, right? Their jet setting doesn't stop there. The Mahomes crew is gearing up to park it in London for a bit, where they'll be catching some major sporting events. Patrick's already been spotted at Wimbledon, catching some tennis action at the All England Club. And just wait, Sunday's gonna be a fast one, cause he's got his sights set on the British Grand Prix. Vroom vroom! Meanwhile, Kelsey's been on his own European tour, hopping over to Amsterdam to catch his girl Taylor's latest gig. Dude's been following her heiress tour like a groupie in the best way possible. He's already popped up at her shows in London and Dublin, bringing the hype every time. Fans went wild when Kelsey finally made it to Swift's Amsterdam set. She even gave a shout out to him during Karma, making everyone's night. And after she wrapped up, Kelsey was right there, escorting her backstage like a total gentleman. Remember when he stole the show at Wembley in London? Yeah, he joined her dancers on stage and lifted Swift like she's a feather. Classic Kelsey move, right? 
Yeah, I warned her, Kelsey spilled on his podcast New Heights. I was like, look, once I get comfy, I stop following the script and start freestyling. It's a Travis thing you wouldn't understand, and we're totally feeling it. It worked. You guys killed it. It was an absolute blast. It was so fun to watch. And it was the Dumb and Dumber, Jim Carrey, like. Oh, <laughs> yes. And then just uh, just made sure <laughs> I played with Tay and got her makeup right. Uh, did you ever think in a million years you'd be a backup dancer? Dude, I've always been a fan of, of, of dancers. One thing I told myself is do not drop the baby. Do not <laughs> drop Taylor on your way over this damn couch. No fun to the baby. Hold on to the yeah. Because B enemy always used to say that ball has our dreams, goals, and aspirations. You do not drop that ball. <laughs> I don't know how, but your body is at a 45 degree angle. Take a picture of this halfway through a jump. They aren't landing that. That's that takes some skill. Falling for Taylor. Travis Kelsey isn't afraid to share his love story. It turns out that Taylor Swift's unexpected behavior during the Kansas City Chiefs game against the Chicago Bears in September tipped the relationship into this is the real deal territory, he said on the Bussin' with the Boys podcast. Kelsey explained that they had already been seeing each other privately, but that her attitude toward taking things public impressed him. He offered her a security escort into the stadium, but she brushed it off and walked in with the rest of his guests. She really won me over with that one, the tight end said, describing how Swift preferred to be around family and friends and experience this with everybody instead of getting celebrity treatment. She's very self-aware, and I think that's why I really started to really fall for her, was how genuine she is around friends and family. It can get crazy for somebody with that much attention, and she just keeps it so chill and so cool. Like something about me and Taylor, it's like, hey, what the, you guys okay? You guys <laughs> all right like out that, there? Get the off Facebook, Dad. That's my girl. That's your girl. You know what I mean? That's, that's my lady, so it's, it's like I'm proud of that. Really fall for her was how genuine she is around just like, friends, family. She's in the she's in the madness, man. She wants to be a part of it. She wants to support me and do things like that. She got buku points for that. I was like, damn, she's just, I was like, man, she, uh, she really won me over with that one. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.